gets it, gets the switch, the switches that he wanted. So let's see whether or not that will change because the teams will try to adjust to that. In the point, point guard position, but pass off, yeah. Jack Aguilar, waiting for the movement. Okay, CJ Perez, CJ. Kick pass, great ball movement. Off Tana, off the mark. And here they go again, talking about Senegal leading by three at the start of the second quarter. And interesting to see that uh, Mamadou Dufay is leading the way here for Senegal, not their top scorer, it don't see Branco Baggio. And that was... It was a with a near block once again. Goro Kamara on the line, Goro Kamara had six points la uh, the other night, Laban sa uh, Iran. Right. Uh, tinalo nila, 85-75, tinalo naman natin ang Iran. 75-65 So the Philippines and Senegal at least early on very well matched So we see Gorakama getting one point from the strike Senegal extended lead to 23-19 oh, But CJ Perez again on the attack feeding Rentabando but suddenly found himself in the midst of green shirts Abando again on the attack off the drive Wala pa rin. And a wild move there from Renzo Bando sees it go out of bounds. I believe cuatro ang lalong in dito nitong si Malonzo. So we will see again with Jamie Malonzo playing at the four and Jumar Pardo playing at the five. A and bit Jim more late. goal for an offensive foul. Both hands on the chest of the Senegalese player. That is how strong Jumar is. Yung mga kumbaga bumubo ng ating frontline rotation. Frustration there for Jumar Pardo who had a good opening state yes, yes, score for Gilas actually. As Chris Newsom was attached to the hit, so foul against Chris Newsom and Gilas Filipinas. 23-19 for Senegal so far. Led all the way. Mabudu Faye fires that off to Samba Fall. And Kamara, offensive foul. So at least may consistency yung mga referees. Ito talaga, mahirap mahirap. Mahirap talaga. Yung best na bang pipiliin mo o yung best na makakatapat dun sa pool. Kasi you have to finish in the top two spots for you to make it to the second phase. Otherwise, sa classification na round ka na babag sa kagad. That's through us. Chris Newsom swings around 30-30 on the top of the drive. Finding Jamie Malonzo in the corner. Capitagular, offensive rebound, the turn, kicks it out, and they reset here. 30 again. And the next guy, Abando, could well, not right. find Capitagular. Yes. And those are maybe some of the reads there that the rest of Abando will get better at in the future. Off the dribble, the mga galaw. That's too deep. There, you saw the strength difference there between Jamie Malonzo and Guzman Edio. And they kick it out again. Paul going inside, and that's how Jimmy Malonzo can defend when he has the size disadvantage. Excellent defense coming from Malonzo against a bigger counterpart. And then he attacks on the return play. With the hook shot there, throw back to the 80s. No problem. And that semi hook coming from Jimmy Malonzo, a stop. And a basket inside for a two way play for Jimmy Malonzo playing uh, in that uh, front line position. And mm. again, that rejection from Malonzo from the weak side, and he will be called for. I believe that might be a goal then. Yung mga nilaban dun sa qualification ay nilaro nilang lahat pero si Baggio hindi siya isa ron. Alam ko yeah. siya yung nilaro niya sa labing dalawang. But did the defender on his sips? Or did the defender? Oh, great fake. And the little floater, no good. Probably saw the big man right in front of him. And another quick turnover. Now on the fast break, Jamie Malonzo getting that through the contact. Back-to-back -back, uh, steals coming from the Philippines. But playing tough defense. This unit has been defending it well, even if they are outsized and outmatched in terms of heft. And speaking of Renzo Bando, he has that defensive stop there in terms of that pass interference against Patio. Patio that time, trying to get three back. Wala pa rin. And there was the high defense show. Si Tony Rivera could not hold back si Osmani and Diaz. Use Aguilar had four points last night. Malonso, the leading scorer with 11. Dwight Ramos and Oftana hitting 10 points apiece. Ben Zabando. Okay, Jamie Malonso. Pull up three straight away. No good. 30. Could not get the rebound. 
As Baguio will have it, four point lead pa rin para sa Senegal. The jump shots are off for both teams here in quarter 2-0. Oh, that's Isi Leve, third steal in the quarter for the Philippines. Tordi Rovena with the easy lay-in. The way he exerted those hustle plays has enabled the Philippines to reach even closer. We started the quarter 22-19. We've given up five points, we've scored six, so... Meron tayong magandang defense ang pumakapit. Both teams quite cold in terms of perimeter shooting during the second quarter so far. And speaking of defense, that was actually a new look para sa Gilas Pilipinas. And another steal. Force another turnover. Pangapat. AJ Edu finding J.D. Malonzo for the slam. For us, we are to set through the full pace when the things are actual na competition. The defense is to be at the peak. So efficiencies, effort, and the system also has been in the forefront of consecutive defensive stops for the Philippines. That was a tie ball game until Lamine Sambe got a three-pointer here in Paris to Senegal. Three-point lead for the Senegalese again. Coaching defense na kanina, parang college, Philippine college basketball. Full court press na agad. Yes, yun ang kailangan kasi as a general rule, pag mas maliit ka, you try to win the battle of defense in the backcourt. And then dun sa frontcourt, meron naman tayong ilang atleticism. Hindi ka lakihan, pero malalakas tumulun at malalakas din naman ng katawan para sumabay. Great defense applied there from AJ Ed. Five steals in the quarter for the Philippines. So the Philippines disrupting all the passing lanes here. Jamie Malonzo giving to the corner to Dwight Ramos for three tie ball game at 30 all. And that's the importance of defensive stuff. From the Senegal, they had the numbers for a moment. They go for the corner three, no good offensive rebound and the finish. That is what they have really against the Philippines. Size and end. We have the skills, no? uh, yung one-on-one uh, -on -one skills at yung living abilities, mas mahusay itamak yung mga manalaro ng Pilipinas. Jamie Malonto, so that to CJ Perez. CJ, winging ng pick kay AJ Edu. CJ Perez hands it over to Jamie Malonto, almost a turnover, and eventually Jamie has it. The kick out to the corner, use up, 4-3. Wala pa rin, as CJ Perez with the effort play, but steps off the line. Actually, ngayon, nasa countdown 21 days na lang tayo, di ba? For opening day, no? I don't think people realize that in a few weeks, we're going to be filled with NBA players here. It's a quick turnover, a slip, it looks like, from Batio. So, Chris Newsom take advantage, pero di pa rin nakatayo si Batio. Looks like he... That ball pressure, Paul has given the Philippines six interceptions on the ball steals. And this has disallowed Senegal from increasing their offensive output. But more than that, that's the seventh turnover against them, right? Now they have, it's the full court press with three guards. And I believe it's Coach King Cole who has that assignment uh, in the coaching staff in terms of uh, defensive preparation. So full ball pressure and the uh, matchup na pwede mong tapatan yung mga perimeter players para dito sa Senegal. Great effort there from Jamie Malonzo, keeping the possession alive. CJ Perez, we're in the last minute here of the half. And that will be a foul on the floor, I believe, against Senegal. It's 2 to 12, I believe, before the first time on Coach Chotreyes in favor of Senegal. Dwight Ramos. Going one on one. Tumarecho, Matake, pulls up jumper and gets the lead for the Philippines. So, it was a fat para kay Dwight Ramos. Started out with that score early, the way he did last night, when he had 8 of his 10 points from in the first quarter. Amina Sambe, shown a double team, almost a turnover. Excellent Paul. foundation. Pagkatapos, yung hustle plays na Chris Newsom, CJ Perez, patulang mga gusto, isama mo pa dyan si Ferdi Ravenna. Yeah. We saw pa Indoye, unable to get the first free throw of Paul, so either way, he does Filipino to hold on to the lead here after this free throw attempt. This is the value of food speed para sa Philippines, and likewise, our ability to be disciplined at ating defensive schemes and defensive coverage. 34 to 33 para sa Gilas Pilipinas as Dwight Ramos now playing point guard here. They decide to go zone right now versus us uh, sa patapos ng uh, second quarter. Able to read that as well. So let's see how Gilas Pilipinas adjust to that. Kung ano yung mga zone buster nila. Oh, and trying to get Jamie Malonzo off the back door. It looks like it'll be a foul. It looks like a penalty situation yes. here. So part of second quarter. And finishing quarters is always essential, especially after you have a slow start. Yusafa Indoye gets the first of two, tying up the ball game at 34 apiece. And coach, uh, itong Senegal team, even though they did not make it to the FIBA Basketball World Cup, is going to teach Gilas Filipinas how to deal with significant height and athleticism yes. disadvantages. And we play, the, play them again in about two days. And then we also see action against Iran for the second time this month. So Senegal retake the lead here, 35 to 34. 
She tends to uh, have courts. Have court dates sila, lalaki. And that time, no good. Para sa Senegal. Makalik na si Jumar Fajardo, who sat early on in the second quarter due to foul trouble. Kick out to the corner. Pogoy, no good. So si RR Pogoy, interesting to see how much he'll do here, considering recovering from injury to si RR. As Jumar Fajardo had a hard time defending the runner there. That right. was uh, Yusofa Endoye. Second time Jumar, Jumar Fajardo was beaten down the floor. AJ, AJ Edu did not play in Europe. Or our Pogoy, Ray Parks and Oftana. Ngayon ay nakikita natin mga naglalaro. Subalit wala naman si Scotty Thompson at si Kai Soto ay hindi pa po nakakapaglaro uh, para sa Pilipinas. White Ramos gets three. To tie up the ball game again, 37 all. The kick out pass, always essential. Catch and shoot plays are the type of shots that you will be getting, especially against the taller opposition. That will be three pointer number four. To be able to have money for the Philippines, and another steal here for the Philippines. And our Bogoy gets the bucket to go. And then another turnover there. Quick right. hand from our Bogoy. The individual defense, the ball pressure, very important as we kept repeating in this match for the Philippines, not just in this pocket tournament, but especially on the three, on the things actual competition the World Cup. Jumar Fajardo playing drop big here, able to get that ball back. It's one of us, Jamie Malonzo, as good as Filipinas, will have to play half-court offense here. DJ Perez, asking for a pick from Jumar Fajardo, CJ. Jumar. Jumar left open for just a second, and that's all he needs. And again, CJ Perez able to set up an open teammate. Pogoy, total of five per quarter points, and then Fajardo with seven. Suddenly, the Philippines ahead is ahead by the biggest lead. Labat sa Senegal or down right now by four. Well, Jumar Fajardo, he is returning to in, uh, to his MVP form. As Jumar just did enough, but it looks like a foul from CJ Perez, I believe. Dahil sa kanyang habilidad to break down his uh, defensive cover. This free throw there, Paris to Senegal. As Gilas Pilipinas uh, already showing a lot of improvement here in the third quarter. But coach, with the FIFA Basketball World Cup around 20 or so days away, or Gilas Pilipinas. 21 days to be exact. 21 days to be. Oh, let's be exact here. <laughs> coach uh, Gilas still have a lot of work to do, especially trying to reintegrate itong si Jordan Clarkson and Kai Soto, and Kai Soto mm -hmm. very soon. But then that's just so many weapons. Right, right. Right now, Gilas Filipinas try their best here to keep the scoring punch going. It looks like it's going to be a foul there, I believe, on Senegal against CJ Perez as he's trying to save that one. Dwight Ramos, GK CJ Perez, CJ. Now to Dwight. Dwight has a three pointer in this game already. Dwight, bodied up already. If you can feel that scouting report then, don't let Dwight Ramos go because he can do that to you. Lefty from beyond the arc, also a mid match master. Another perfect feat coming from uh, CJ Perez of that side in ball play. Biggest lead for the Filipinas, Lima, here in the third quarter. Swing it around, open look from the free throw line. As Senegal is to just a solitary point. Well, they say it's a game of runs, and it is Senegal's run now. Okay. And Villas Filipinas for cold water on that. Jumar Pajardo looking for options. Pingeke Renzabando will take a three and not make the three. That's to regain the lead here, but it's a Senegal. Operating the pick and roll here. Playing the drop big, <coughs> even with Jamie Malonzo. Dwight Ramos. Contain the man in the corner. It's a matchup. Closing down as they pull up for three. No good. And that is a good defensive possession there for Gilles Perfect Pinas. Perfect rotation. No easy shots, even on the cross matches. And then a feed by Malonso to Fajardo. First basket since the first quarter. Total of six points or eight points at least for the Junior Fajardo back. Three, three point eight for the Philippines. Junior Fajardo, that was an easy bucket for him there. This time he beats his defense down the floor. Giving them a taste of their own medicine. Correct. Kanina pa siya inuunahan at iniiwanan. Lamine, swinging that around. From the corner, that's good. Tight ball game here, 45 ball. Ramos was right there. That's the first three-point basket in the long one para dito sa Senegal. I believe since the first quarter, and the first one here in this first half as well. Second half as well. Jumar Pajardo, Gigi Dwight Ramos, he'll tee up a three, can't get that to fall. Abo ni Amercilia. 
that's good transition defense for the Philippines. Amadou Faye gets it back. Playing the little give and go. And Jumar Fajardo with the big man bump. <laughs> Jump like <laughs> 45 all here, chance for Senegal to take the lead. Uh, Pagilas Filipinas had a good start here in the third quarter. Maybe bumangan lang ng ponte because this Senegal team started hitting shots. So mama yung jump shots nila. This is a 6-0 counter para dito sa Senegal after we, we built a 5-point kid at 45-40. Pinagkit natin kanina, 35-34. Ang simula ng ating uh, pangatong quarter. Nadinikta ng maaga itong si CJ Perez at ni White Ramos bago bumalik the last three possessions itong uh, Senegal. Good start here para si Pilas. Better answer from Senegal as they regain the lead 47-45. After we took the lead away from them, 35-34 and then 45-40. So that was an 11-5 run para sa Philippines countered by the 7-0 surge ng Senegal. AJ Edu, okay, continue Malondo, step back three, that's a tough look and unable to get that ball. He thought that there was no other way that that was going to end and he was going to take the shot no matter what. And on the other end, getting a bit of help, a lot of help from the back. Difficult shot, second three-point basket for them. Reinforces this, uh, and uh, have been scored on for, for 10 straight points. What a find there from Kiefer Ravenna, but Calvin Octana could not finish. AJ Edu could not get the rebound as well. No second chance here for the Philippines. Now on the attack, Kiefer trying to get the charge and will it burn it. Quarterbacking here for Gilas Filipinas. Getting the pick there from Ben Sabando. Benz trying to make something happen here. Wow. Just a while ago, he was a bit quiet offensively, then he pulls that off. Talk about jumping over the defense. Mid-range conversion for Abando so far. Nothing from the three ball, but enough to uh, break that scoreless spell for the Philippines. We're still behind by three points. Miscue there, and another offensive rebound here para sa Senegal. That wasn't necessarily the case a while ago. Senegal doing a lot better job in the second chance opportunities. As they find an open man, 4-3 and get that to fall. Still an excellent contest for the Philippines, but Senegal knocks in their second three-point basket here in quarter three. A total of 18 points here in the third quarter. Keeper for the pick, AJ Edu. AJ Edu with the roll. And Zabando pull up three straight away. They scored the last five points for the Philippines in two possessions. Good sign here for the Philippines, who are still behind, but only by three. Aguilas Filipinas, who were in the receiving end of a 10-0 run, Find a way to strike back and trip the lead down to just three. But here, Senegal Ooh. finding their range from beyond the arc. 21 points in the quarter for Senegal. In fact, a six point lead for them. Hindi mo ting mangat yung uh, percentage at kaya nakuha nila muli yung kalamangan. Keeper trying to answer back with three of his own. Back to back three balls para sa Philippines. Keeper Ravenna's first basket of the contest. 56 to, uh, 56 to 53 here, Gilles Filipinas. Trying to chase this lead once again. Good hesitation. Good help defense again from Jabba right. Aguilar, and the ball will stay with Senegal. In the pro ranks in the last uh, decade or so. Full of three again, and that time Senegal finally missed from beyond the line. They had none. Talk about a three point basket in the previous quarter, but they have nine points from the long ball. See like a loud double digit production as a good defensive effort there coming from Senegal. And Keeper Ravenna all by oh. his lonesome, able to do enough. Right. Keeper Ravenna. Walker back in here. Moving into AJ Edu. Handing it off to Chris Yusa. Now Jumar Fajardo. They go to the ball move, uh, the off the ball movement here. Gilas Filipinas. Keeper. Okay, AJ. AJ. Little fake. The drive. And that should be a goal 10. Excellent fourth quarter so far for Edu. Making his comeback after suffering a knee injury. And a part of uh, the national pool. Edu so far, first four points of the match all coming here in the fourth quarter, giving the Philippines a one point lead. Let's see AJ Edu. He has shown us at Young Boise. Fadio against Chris Newsom. Wow. Yes, Fadio on paper would be the best. He is Filipinas leading by one, 57 56. Working on Jamie Malonzo. And 
Now the feed inside and uh, no fouls as the referee as it's just a big boy move here by Senegal. I know play. There was a push no doubt underneath, but no call was made. That will be the first basket here in the quarter. But I think it's uh, Senegal. 58 to 57. Dwight Ramos. He only has six points that time. Can't get him three points. Three parts effort play, but that time Mike wins. One of the baskets of Dwight Ramos have come from inside the three point line so far. Can I some less? I'm not mistaken, yes. So. Ooh. At the moment, ooh, that's a tough drive and good stop by the Philippines once again. Gilas, opportunity to run. Yes. Have the opportunity to do that and find Ray Ray Parks. Open look from the wing, no good. Uh, Juma Pardo could not for out the rebound. It's all the PCM or Gilas. Just this person is an open three. Sayang. Lamang ang sana muli tayo ng dalawa. Getting, another, getting the no, free ball going again as Senegal make it a two possession ball game. I know that attack, and I know that I'm going to be Ray Parks, Malonzo, Yusuf, Ramos, and Jumar Pajardo for Gilas Filipinas. Uh, there are a lot of shooters on the floor here surrounding Which we need, which we really need at this stage of the match. White Ramos showed a quick double, Yusuf penetrating the dribble. Unable to get the foul and do some is on the ground. But interesting here, coach. Uh, it's also a question here for Gilas how to score without ACJ Perez on the floor, who right. was almost instant offense. Exactly. The leading scorer para sa Pilipinas, we still some last night, a total of two points. Parts also had two points. Edu had nine. Pogo had eight. CJ Perez had seven. But today, CJ Perez explosive. And uh, has been the biggest thorn against the defense than Senegal. Two free throws there made by Chris Newsom. And the press is on for the Philippines. Yeah, this is the type of press that caused so many turnovers for the on Pereto. This Senegal team more ready for that now. Broke the press almost immediately. And as I said, that almost turnover there. Boise, he worked on by Newsom. What a move, what a move. move there. And then you know, I think that the NBA Summer League for the Phoenix Suns. As Dwight Ramos finds Jumar Pardo nice streaking, and Jumar soft touch does not fall, but will shoot two. So far, we're a defensive game plan. Jumar Pardo on line shoot two. It's a big foul on his shoot shot. Jumar gets the first of two. Very short thing for Jumar. He attracts so much attention with his movement, with his sheer size. So anytime you have that kind of a teammate who can run the floor from the backcourt after a takeaway, tapos pababa, eh, makakascore ka talaga. Kasi pag dumay niya ito sa ilalim, wala makakapigil eh. Two-point lead. CJ Perez is back, kasamang Paolo. Uh, CJ Perez, namanggit nga natin kanina, instant offense. Yes, 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 yes. He started the rally para sa Philippines after we were down at 22-12. Better defense from the three point line for the Philippines. Good contest by CJ Perez. We miss to hear about the Philippines. CJ Perez will try to get that back. CJ on the attack gets the foul. No M1 will try to shoot it. Not a shooting foul. Yeah. Tomas, you physicality did that. Some of the aggressors in on the ball. No, they were bullied at one point. Yes. This is the uh, Gila Press. CJ Perez step through. No good. Senegal trying to put the nail in the proverbial coffin. Fabio working on Ray Ray Parks. Difficult. And that's a kicking ball. Trying to go for the pocket in 2014 in overtime. Give the ball around. Sanya at that time. Uh, working on Jumar Pajardo. That's a big offensive rebound, but more importantly, they convert on that second chance. And they will be accompanied by Jumar Pajardo, R.R. Pogoy, and Ray Parks. CJ Perez, Matake, unable to get that in. But CJ still battling for it, and it will be another opportunity here for Senegal to extend the lead. Much improved individual coverage here for Senegal. Kanina, puro pasok yung mga penetration, so nakakahanap si CJ ng mga libre ang kasama. Dito, wala nang extra passes para sa Pilipinas. Fabio working on Dwight Ramos. With Gilas trailing by six, pull-up jumper. Oh, oh and yes. that could be the dagger. 
para sa Gilas Pilipinas against Gilas Pilipinas. The Philippines separation stands at nine points in favor of Senegal. The Philippines looking for multiple and consecutive baskets later here in the fourth. Ray Parks and they're off to White Ramos. They need a three. They can't get it. And really, the hot shooting of Senegal is the reason Correct. why. And they are called for an offensive foul. Keeper Avena. Finding RR Pogoy. Now Jumar Pajardo. Jumar pushed maybe too far away from the basket. Jumar goes inside using his strength. And Jumar Pajardo gets a crucial two points for Seguidas. So he's ready for good time animation on a high board day just to kind of get that ball to drop. He can stop for Citadel to search a seven point lead. If they're not up in the morning play. RR Pogoy against Baggio. Javi. Poseidon. Horns, looking for Jumar Pajardo, finding the man up top, and Jumar Pajardo with a heavy foul. They were behind the 45-40, suddenly they had a 50-45, and they had 21 points in the third quarter, they had a 19 for the 56-53 count to enter the final 10 minutes, and since that time, we have seen a lot of points, we have seen a lot of points in the fourth quarter. Basketball World Cup. Ray Ray Parks getting in from a Jumar Mahardo off the handle. Ray Parks fouled off the drive. Oh, tagal tagal tayo dito na napapo sa ganitong scoring level. Last night against Iran, we won 75-65. 64-72. Ray Ray Parks getting the first of two. This point here for. Ray Ray Parks. And can get both the ball. That's just been that type of quarter by Gilas Filipinas. So right. many good looks from Gilas unable to make it work. And I believe that will be it here for these two. 64 to 72.